I'm here with Stella and Boo. How you doing, Boo? And it is mail time. Let's see what the cat's got. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. The cat's got an envelope. It says Stella, Splash, Lady Feral, Boo, Simba, Grandma, and Pa. Oh, look at the cute cat. Isn't that an adorable little kitten? Holding a little pansy. That's so cute. So fluffy. Ooh, thank you very much. This is a Petco gift card. And also a PetSmart gift card. Thank you so much. This says, Dear Lady Feral, Simba, Splash, Stella, Boo, and Grandma and Grandpa Feral, sending a few warm fuzzies your way today. I am always impressed by the ways that you take care of your kitties. You put them under observation when anyone has tummy troubles. If someone's behavior is different, you notice and try to help them. Enclosed is a little help. Gas isn't getting any cheaper, so thought some assist with pet expenses could be appreciated. I would wish that I would be reincarnated as a cat in your care. Hugs for all, Larry and Carol. Thank you so much, Larry and Carol, for these gift cards. Yes, the help is very much appreciated. I'm actually going out to do the monthly cat shopping either today or tomorrow, so this is perfect timing. I need to buy a month's supply of cat litter. I need to buy Boo's favorite freeze-dried treats some canned food, maybe a few other things. So these will definitely be put to very good use. Thank you so much for thinking of us. Thank you for watching the videos and I'm very happy that you enjoy them. Here's Boo. He likes to get his back scratched. See what he does? He puts his butt in the air. Boo, you're so shiny. You're so shiny, Boo. Look at Stella. She loves to lay on that toy. The cats like to lay on that toy better than actually play with it. Right, Stella? All right, let's open this and see what's inside. Ooh, we got a Petco gift card. That's awesome. And this says, enjoy your gift from Charles Cook. Thank you so much, Charles, for your generous gift. That Petco gift card will be put to very good use on cat supplies this month. And here we have a box. Let's see what's in here. It kind of feels like some canned food, but I could be wrong. What'd you get, Stella? Ooh, check it out. Check this out, Stella, look. The cat's got a whole bunch of churus. This is awesome. This says they are the tuna varieties. I don't think I've ever seen a tub of only tuna varieties before. So they are tuna recipe, tuna with chicken, tuna with scallop, and tuna with salmon. That is very, very cool. Thank you so much. And here's a case of the Wellness Chicken and Herring Dinner. It's the pate, and this is one of Boo's favorite foods. And actually, I don't think the other cats have even tried it yet. So these small cans are really good because what I do with the small cans is the cats get crunchies at night and I've been trying to cut back on the crunchies and give them other things along with the crunchies. So in the past, 
the cats might have got like two tablespoons of crunchies or three tablespoons of crunchies. And what I've been doing now is like taking one of these cans, splitting them four ways so the cats get like a quarter of one of these small cans. Then they might get like half a squeeze up each and then they'll get like one tablespoon of crunchies and they really like that. They seem to really like the variety. And when I add up all of those calories, it's actually less calories than them eating just a whole bunch of crunchies. So uh, thank you so much. These are definitely be put to good use. And this says, enjoy your gift from Charles Cook. Thank you so much, Charles, for these goodies for the cats. They are really going to enjoy them. And I really like to have churus on hand at all times for whenever the cats have an upset stomach. So over the past week, um, there's been a hairball and there's been two vomits. Um, Boo and Simba both had an upset stomach on the same day. I don't know what it was. I think it was one of those freak things where they just ate too much or too fast. And uh, after they have tummy troubles, I usually always give them a churu just to make sure that they still have an appetite because if they don't have an appetite for a churu, then I know it's more serious than you know them eating too fast or too much or something like that. So that's why I always like to have the churus on hand. And, uh, and this canned food is going to be great for Boo when I forget to defrost the raw food and also for the cats for a snack. So thank you guys so much. It's about 2 p.m. I just came downstairs to do another load of laundry and I saw this. Simba is laying in the round cat bed or the back end of Simba is laying in the round cat bed. The front end of Simba is laying on the floor. I don't know how that's comfortable. So yesterday I did my monthly cat shopping. I thought we could take a look at what I got. So I got 60 pounds of cat litter. These are three 20 pound boxes. On the left, we have the Dr. Elsie's Respiratory Relief. Um, that has some stress reducing herbal essences in it. It's pretty much the same as the two on the right, which is the Dr. Elsie's Ultra. Dust free, low tracking, hard clumping, natural clay cat litter. I found that of all the cat litters I've tried so far, this is the cat litter that the cats like the best. It's also uh, the least messy um, with regards to residue on their paws, on their face, um, around the cat litter box. The respiratory relief is four or five dollars more than the other two. I tend to like the respiratory relief the best, although I don't know if the cats notice a difference and the ultra is cheaper. So three to four boxes usually last about a month and right now I think I still have two boxes left over from previous months. I also bought two more three pound bags of Primal Nuggets for the cats, turkey and sardine on the left and chicken and salmon on the right. Uh, we've completely gone through all of the Primal Nuggets that I bought last month. I still have the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. I have not been going through the frozen raw food as fast as I normally do because I had quite a bit of unexpected travel during the month of June, especially over the past few weeks. and. When I'm away for like 24 to 48 hours, the cats eat out of their automatic feeders and they get the freeze-dried raw and crunchies. So the frozen raw has been lasting longer than it normally would. And I picked up another bag of this Stella and Chewy's Sea Licious Salmon and Cod freeze-dried dinner morsels for the cats, especially Boo. This is his absolute favorite. And this is what I put in his automatic feeder if I'm away. Also, he does like this as a topping on his regular meals. I'll take one or two of these and I'll crumble them up on top of his meals. And he likes that. He even likes that more than crunchies right now. So I had to get another bag of this. We went through all of the other bags of this that I had on hand. So hopefully this should last a while. This was the larger bag. This was an eight ounce bag, I believe. And then I also saw this for the first time. It looked really interesting, so I thought the cats could try it. This is Zeewee Peak Gently Air Dried New Zealand Free Range Chicken Recipe. And this is complete and balanced small batch cat food. And they 
are supposed to be kind of like crunchies, but can you see what they look like? They kind of look more like treats. So I'm thinking maybe the cats would like these instead of crunchies as a treat at night, or it could be something they look forward to in their automatic feeders or something to use as a food topper. On the back, it says no rendered meals, no growth promotants or hormones added, no grains, rice, soy, or potatoes. Sourced from Ethical New Zealand Farms, New Zealand Green Mussel, Air Dry Nutrition. And when I read the ingredients on the side, they look good. Chicken, chicken liver, chicken heart, New Zealand Green Mussel, chicken bone, lecithin, inulin, and then a bunch of minerals and vitamins. So I'll be curious to see if the cats like these. Then I also bought this catnip spray because I saw it and I was like, I don't think the cats have ever had a catnip spray. They've had dried catnip, they've had fresh catnip. I have a bunch of fresh catnip growing in the yard, but I don't think they've ever had a catnip spray. It says it's a super concentrated liquid catnip. The only ingredient in here is catnip. I'm assuming maybe with some water. And I'm curious to see how the cats react to this. They only had two left. And I'm wondering if maybe I spray their toys with this, they'd like to play with the toys more, or if I spray their play rug, maybe they would like to roll around on the rug more. What happens is that when I give them some catnip, they just wanna eat it. They wanna eat it and then they just wanna chill out. And even if I take their toys and kind of marinate their toys in catnip, they're not really interested in them. They just wanna like eat whatever catnip residue is on the toys and just chill out. So I'm just curious to see if maybe they have a different reaction to liquid catnip. And then this is the last thing that I bought. This is a licky mat. I've never seen this before. This is for dogs. It says entertain and reduce stress, anxiety, and boredom with a licky mat. It says it's great for all sizes and breeds, including puppies and chewers. And this is like a, it's almost like a, like a hard silicone. This is what the back looks like. It's like plastic. It says reduce anxiety, stress, and boredom, promote fresh breath, healthy teeth and gums, slow down eating, reduce bloat risk, great for snack or full meal, stimulate saliva to aid digestive health, redirect all licking habits, good or bad, safe alternative for your dog to lick, reduce crate training time. So according to their suggestions, you're supposed to take like a soft treat, like yogurt, peanut butter, cottage cheese, pureed fruit or vegetables, baby food. This is for dogs, not for cats. So those are items I wouldn't give to a cat. So they say you take a soft food for a dog. I guess you put it all over the plate and then the dog will lick it because it's in these little compartments. But I thought of Boo when I saw this because he eats his crunchies so fast. Like if I give Boo some crunchies, some dried cat food, he'll eat them so fast. But what I'm thinking is, if I put one individual crunchy in each compartment, it's gonna take him a long time to eat that, or it should take him longer to eat that than he normally does when he just, you know, inhales them. So I'm curious to see if this will work for him. And if not for him, maybe one of the other cats will like it. And if they do, then I could go back and buy more of these. They had quite a few of them. And this was like $17.99, so I didn't wanna buy like four of them if none of the cats like them. I figured, let me start with one. And if it works, great. And if not, I tried. And so that is our cat supply haul for this month. I'd like to thank everyone who sent Petco gift cards to the cats. I got all of the cat litter at Petco. And I would like to thank our monthly Patreons because it was their generous support that helped to pay for everything else that I purchased the frozen raw food for the cats, the freeze-dried raw, the Zeewee Peak dry food for the cats, the catnip spray, and this licky mat. Thank you guys so much. watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.